Hey, Brian. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. So, um, first off, I was, I was curious if you could talk about, I guess, if there were, if there was anything, if there's any indications early earlier on in like maybe season four or five or six that they had a game plan, like an end game, all kind of wrapped up, and if you could talk about those conversations that you had with Matt. You know, I think I just read Matt always had the series finale in his head, the kind of last image. But how we got there was always a trial of successes and failures. Um, you know, in season four, I don't even know if we were, saw an end in sight. The, the show was doing so well. Uh, we all were very happy with, you know, the kind of creative journey we were on. The schedule was grueling. So it was really a question of, what our bodies give out before the story gave out. And uh, it looks like our bodies gave out first, <laughs> at least with mine. No, yeah, I can, I can imagine. It's, a very, it's a quite an action-packed show, so I can imagine that uh, it'd, be, it'd be even harder if you had, like, if you were on a network and you had a 25, 25 episode season to go through. Yeah, if, I, if I, had, I put every injury that Michael Weston has had over the years, I don't think you'd see me through all of the, cla uh, the plaster casts and bandages. <laughs> He'd probably be in a wheelchair at some point. Yeah. Yes, Michael as Ironside, exactly. <laughs> Excellent. So can you talk a bit about, I guess, uh, just actually shooting in Miami? I know that there was a, uh, I was talking to, I talked to, uh, to Bruce a few times, and he was talking about just actually getting to shoot the show in Miami and how that kind of adds such a different element to the show, whereas opposed to most shows that are set, even maybe set in Miami, that don't shoot in Miami. So can you talk a good bit about that and like what that really added to the show? Well, Miami so, was the extra character. I mean, they, the, Miami was a character in every episode. The energy of the city, the backdrop of the water, the, the nightlife, uh, and also, you know, the kind of the rundown buildings that were off in, in the boonies. You know, it was a, certainly a, a very uh, exciting character that was always an element in the show. And, uh, you know, really it's hats off to the studio and the network for saying, hey, can you use South Florida? Can you make this show work down there? Uh, and South Florida deserves a lot of credit because they gave us incentives to come there and then stay there. So uh, it's been a great relationship over the years. So I read that like uh, Matt had said that the finale isn't exactly a completely happy ending. So like I was wondering if you could tease um, if there's like a number of people that will meet their end <laughs> in this finale, or and if there's any if there's any talk about maybe either continue on with the spin-off or a potential move perhaps on the line sometime. You know, there's two major deaths in the in the finale, um, one of which is a series uh, lead. And uh, it was important, I think, for this character's um, journey for, for them to kind of die a heroic death. Uh, obviously, I won't give it away, but um, I think when you watch the show, Thursday night, you will see why this person had to die the way they did. But it also is a uh, kind of a launching point for a new relationship, if you will, on the show. And, and you'll see what I mean when, when you watch. And as far as a spinoff, I know that Kobe and Bruce would love to do the Sam and Jesse story, kind of like Turner and Hooch. I don't know who Hooch would be, but um, probably Bruce. Um, but Matt hasn't really um, uh, kind of informed anybody if, if that's a possibility. But um, I, I think it would be a great success to watch those two run around. No, I mean you've, you've done both. You've done, done both film and television, you know, and after such a after such a successful and long run like this, I mean, are you looking to to jump into possibly another another series, or are you looking at maybe transitioning? Your yeah, I don't to... think a series is is in my future. I, this one's taken its toll, um, but. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to try to gravitate a little more behind the behind the camera. I really enjoyed directing Burn Notice over the years and, and the Sam X movie. Um, and, you know, I'm developing some stuff for TV as a director more than as an actor now. So we'll see how that uh, comes out. Okay, great. Is there, is there anything you can say about, I guess, I guess like the, the last kind of day on the set maybe or like the final like table read or just kind of, the emotions that were kind of going through everyone, everyone on, on that last day. You know, there was such a sense of pride in all the cast, um, Bruce, Sharon, Kobe, and myself. 
about how much we enjoyed working on the show and the relationships that we built over the years. Um, you know, in this day and age, you're lucky to be employed, let alone have a hit series like this. So the four of us have been incredibly blessed, and, and I know I speak for them, to, that, 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 that this show succeeded the way it did. Great. Is, uh, is there anything that uh, is there anything that you're working on that you can talk about at this time? Either your films or, or the, the stuff you're developing for television. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm developing. Well, I've developed and sold a, a script that I didn't write. Uh, that is about the privatization of space flight, and oh. uh, I'm working on that with the same studio that uh, created Burn Notice, and uh, that's something that's fun. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, it, it's still in development, though. 